I mean, I knew it would be fun. I knew there would be disappointments. Uh, but I think by far, those moments when perfect strangers lift you up has outweighed any short-term disappointments in the campaign. And, and that's really the wonderful thing about it, is that complete strangers stand in the rain with you and wave in support of your campaign. Uh, it's an amazing thing to run for office when people believe in your message. But we had a different vision. Yeah. We knew that there was this constituency out here. This constituency doesn't fit uh, any of the old Columbus political paradigms. So we have today changed the face of politics in Columbus, Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. When we first got started, there were those professional political pundits that said this campaign wouldn't go anywhere. Uh, because we didn't have a natural constituency or we didn't have a message that they thought resonated. But the message we had was actually creating a whole new constituency. People from all over Columbus, people that were very anxious to see what the next chapter in Columbus's history was going to be. And people could see that regardless of their geography, regardless of their educational background, regardless of their economic background or their race, the things that normally separate us on a day-to-day -day basis, they all had a vested interest in what Columbus could be, and they saw that this campaign was talking about taking Columbus to a new and, and better level, and people from their different perspectives were buying into that. Uh, because there were four of us starting out, and having that debate, 44 debates we had, <laughs> 44 debates. It helped us hone the issues that are important to Columbus, see what was going to be important uh, for this next administration. It made us all better candidates. And I don't think it's an accident that Mr. Baker and I ended up in this runoff. I think Columbus is ready for a fresh vision. Well, really, all my opponents, I mean, you know, from the beginning, I think it's been a great process in that it, we all vetted out each other's ideas. It made our um, visions a little crisper. It uh, highlighted the issues, I think, that the citizens, we had 44 debates and forums. I think that having this long, drawn-out process, having four candidates and then two in a runoff, really did hone in on those issues that people desperately care about, and that is economic development, jobs, crime, and better schools, the things that affect their lives every single day. And they got to see how the mayor can affect those things. So first of all, I want to recognize my husband, Tripp. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Was he my rock during this whole thing and my greatest advisor, of course? But he was our campaign co chair, along with Audrey Tillman, who's here tonight. Well, I, I'm very excited. I'm very appreciative to the voters. Uh, we really set out to run a very positive campaign and uh, to try to take Columbus to the next level. And uh, I think we now have that opportunity to do it. And uh, with that comes a lot of responsibility. But I'm just very, very excited. Well, it feels pretty great. Uh, you know, I can't decide exactly what, uh, you know, everybody's going to call me, but, uh, but I, I'll take what I get. It'd be great. She is such a terrific lady. She is so smart, so hardworking. She cares about this community and cares about the people here. Uh, I think the speech that you heard tonight came from the heart, and she genuinely wants to, uh, to work with everybody in this community and bring us all together and uh, move Columbus uh, to become a great place. Uh, it's already a great city. Just take it to the next level. I have heard you and I will continue to hear you. You want and I will deliver respectful, prudent, reasonable, strong, bold, accountable leadership. Hey. I mean, this is such an incredible outpouring to see all these people, and it's just such a great cross-section of Columbus, Georgia. I'm just honored, I mean, I really am, to have this kind of support from all of these different people. It's a wonderful thing. What's the first matter of business? Oh, well, first I'm going to be meeting with the current mayor and, uh, and the current city manager, 
and getting their wise advice and, uh, and see what we can do to make this city even better. But the very first uh, business here is uh, we're going to get a good night's sleep. <laughs> and so tonight I have to say I am so honored and humbled that you all did come together, hit the ball to me, I stand ready to field that ball. But I want to say this, as a team, all of us, I ask you to join with me and let's take this city to the next level because as a team, we're going to win. Yeah.